Now friends, that ain't chocolate. That's barbecue sauce. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna prep a little brisket. What's your name? I'm Jesse. Jesse, okay. What's the name of your team? Uh, Dad's Barbecue. Dad's Barbecue. Basically what we've done is cut the, uh, the uh, points off of these. We'll trim these down into chunks, make burn ends. Okay. You know, just as an appetizer, stuff like that. Basically there's some prepared brisket. It's already been trimmed. Next, it'll be injected, rubbed, and set. And uh, that's what we're doing, man. Okay, so the pullet, pullet was like that corner uh, up on the brisket. Yeah, basically what you got on a brisket, you got two different pieces. You got what they call a flat, and you got a point, which is the roast end. Okay. And as you can see, here's where those two muscles come together. Yeah. How do you handle your um, the thick piece of fat on top? You just leave it on for the cook. What you do is you want to basically in the all you're going to use out of these briskets for a competition is from here to here. This is going to be a little tougher. This is going to be a little drier, and you want a good solid quarter inch or more because it's going to render also. Okay. You know, so a lot of people there's a lot of different philosophies on that, mm -hmm. uh, but we try to keep up. A steady quarter, see? Yeah. yeah. Right there. Hey, yeah. And uh, unfortunately, in a brisket, in a competition, you only use a, a very small piece of it. Okay. You know, just like here, we trim that down, try to get our quarter down here where we're going to be using that. Okay. Okay, well, we're getting ready to inject. We'll shoot the injection. Yeah. Uh, let me get this right here. Okay, and that's your burnt ends that you're. Yeah. Okay. That's a USDA prime see that market. Wow, that is beautiful. Yeah. Man. Unfortunately, that's the best part of it. <laughs> <laughs> what brand of brisket is that? Is that a certain company's brisket? or? That comes from SRA Foods. SRA Foods. They're lo located here? They're in, uh, no, they're actually is that in the Snake uh, River. They're in uh, Birmingham. Oh, Birmingham. never mind. Yeah, okay. they're in Birmingham. SRA Foods. Yeah. You see, uh, Dad uses for all the meat. Pork butts, uh, ribs, chicken, those type of things. Jonathan, where's your injector at? Um, I watched it. It's right here. Okay, and then we've got the injecting juice. We're not going to ask you what's in it, but we just give a picture of it. It's just a base of beef stock with some stuff. You know. Okay. And basically what you want to do. Go away. See how see how that feels? Yeah. And you'll try to do one inch increments. There again, a brisket is the hardest to inject too. After they after they injected, they'll be wrapped. Go back in the cooler for resting until the night. So when you're done injecting, how many, how, how much do you think the brisket probably weighs after an injection? How much weight are you going to add to it? Probably about 8, 10, 12 ounces. Uh -huh. You're not going to get a ton of injection in that brisket because of the way the fibers are. Uh -huh. Now pork butt, you can add a pound, a pound and a half. Blow to that it. thing up. You can, you can make it huge, you know. But basically the brisket, you're just trying to get something in there. And it, and it is the hardest for me to inject. Because just the way the muscle fibers are. You know, in, in barbecue, it's an interesting choice that they chose the brisket because this is like a challenging piece of meat. Very, it's the toughest piece. Yeah. 
We only use right hand briskets. That's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> and then, basically, after that's injected, going to go mustard on it. All mustard does is give you a slather to hold your rub. Okay, a binding agent. That's it. You spend a lot less time on the fat cap than you do the, the meat side. Leaving that fat on top of the uh, meat just adds a lot of flavor to the meat. It really does. We use it, our smokers are water-based, so they actually do a steam and a smoke. So we use a fat layer to separate the heat from the meat. Oh yeah. You know, a lot of people like to render their fat and let it drip. To me, you save a lot more moisture with your fat cap down, because uh, it, it's a seal, it's a barrier. Uh -huh. Now, if you were going to the supermarket and you were going to try to pick out a brisket, uh, could you show us on that brisket what you'd try to look for as uh, the higher quality or better quality brisket? You will, uh, in a store, it's very difficult. If you can find, if you buy them froze, there's no really way. But if you've got a, uh, a fresh brisket, you'll want to pick that brisket up and it should be fairly limber. Okay. And if you can, you want to see marbling, just as we talked about throughout the meat, heavy marble, because if not, brisket would wind up like shoe leather. Yeah, it's like a real hard piece of meat. It's a very hard piece of meat. Um, okay, so use, you're using Oak Ridge Barbecue's rub. We use Oak Ridge rubs. Man, that's beautiful. There is something special about this barbecue team. They got it going on, don't they? Yeah, they do. <laughs> And like I said, you're not going to waste, a, in our opinion, we don't waste a lot of time on a fat cap. We like Oak Ridge Roads, right? They're out of uh, Kansas City. They use a high quality sugar base of raw sugars, which have a higher burning point. You don't get a real black charcoal bark. It tastes bitter. Okay. You know, that's the key to your raw sugars. Uh, and what type of sugar did you say to use? It's a, it's a raw sugar. Oh, it's some kind of raw sugar. It's a, I'd rather not say, but it, okay. that's it's, okay. just a, it's just a high quality sugar. Well, on the radio show, I'm sure many of you heard me say that, uh, you know, uh, you don't start basting your brisket till it's about halfway cooked or three quarters of the way cooked, and uh, you don't put barbecue sauce on it if you want barbecue sauce till the last hour. We we'll use uh, a no sauce. But no, you don't use any sauce. Not on the brisket. Not on the brisket. Okay, that's interesting. We will save. We will save natural juices and mix some stuff with it, and then we'll do a light glaze as it's presented. But as far as the sauce on the It should, uh, it should stand on its own. Awesome. There's your prepared brisket. Wow. Ready for wrap. Okay. I need a marinade for as long as we can at competition. At home, we'll do them 24 hours. Now the wrap, is it tin foil or is Just it? Just aluminum foil, I mean uh, saran wrap. Saran wrap, plastic. Yeah. Okay, go pop in the refrigerator and then let it pull in, pull the yeah, flavors that's in. that's right. Okay. Uh, a Dodge or a Chevy or what size truck, what kind of truck you got? The only truck there is. What is it? 
Dodge. Dodge, okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, what kind of service have you had out of your Dodge, the Cummins diesel and all that? It's got about 200,000 miles on it. Tank. Never had any problem. Okay. Tank, no old drive. Wow. This thing about a Dodge better like the color of it. You ain't gonna wear it out. Your uh, pulling capacity for pulling like uh, uh, big trailers and all this, it never has any problems doing it, does it? Pulling all this, we brought everything and the kitchen sink. Have no trouble. How many miles a year do you think you put on your Dodge pulling stuff? Uh, probably 20, 25,000 a year. Wow, see, that's a lot of pulling miles. Uh, and it stood up to it well. Backwoods cookers. Oh, backwoods? And uh, where, where do you use your backwoods cookers? What type of application do you put them on? They, uh, we use backwoods for our brisket, uh, pork butts, chicken, along with the southern fries. Okay. Backwoods, Santa Lucia, Mike McGowan. I'm going to have to get them on the website. Uh, you know, our website, as far as uh, cookers and stuff, it's all free, and uh, we'll just have to find it and put a link on. Uh, Backwoods Cookers. Absolutely. Now, friends, I don't know if you noticed, but when he when he loaded that brisket down with uh, apple juice a minute ago, it actually blew up. There. Look at there. It's actually blowing up. Wow, man, that's big time. Look, friends. You need to inject, you need to put on rubs. Don't let anybody tell you not to put a rub on. If they tell you not to put a rub on, they don't know what they're talking about. Now these are your competition uh, briskets right here. You won't be vending with these. This is for the big money. Yes, sir. Okay. Nothing like hanging out on a Friday night and a Saturday at the competition, is there? No, sir. Have you ever been to like a 2.30 meeting where they drink coffee or hang out just a little bit down at the tent? Uh, yeah. Yeah, man. Get up in the middle of the night and everybody's, you're tired, but you're competing and you're working and then everybody goes and hangs out. And that's, that's part of the barbecue brotherhood. Yes, sir. Okay, let's see what this young man's doing over here. He's still pulling off that little extra fat. What's your name, buddy? Justin. Justin, and how old are you? 14. Okay. And uh, is uh, dad your dad? Uh, Jonathan. Okay, John is your dad. Okay. What do you think about uh, competing in barbecue? I think it's pretty fun. Hey, look at there. Now, he got a big spoon. Now, we were down in uh, Winter Lakeland, and uh, this guy was struggling, struggling, struggling to get the fat off with a pair of pliers and a knife and I want you to look at this young fella. He got him a great big old spoon and he's killing it. Man, that's a big information right there. Too thick for the spoon, so he's gonna start it, pull it off with a knife there.
we got to take a moment and make a shout out to Soul to Earth. Soul to Earth is signed on with Barbecue Superstars. They're officially our band, and we want to make a shout out to Odell. Hey, Odell, I don't know where you're at, but hey, buddy, Barbecue Superstars cares about you. Get your guitar out and sing one. Is she with your team or is she uh Yes, that's that's why. Why? Okay. okay. I'll have to get over there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, we thought we was going to get an interview with Dad's wife, but it didn't quite work out. Yeah. Okay, they wrapped the brisket in plastic. Okay, it looks like you've already uh, uh, done some of your butts and all. You got them prepped all the ready to go. All the butts are ready. Okay. That's the briskets. Okay, that's Dad's barbecue. Out of... Uh, Anderson, Alabama. And they just about got all their meat ready to go. What do you think, Drew? Uh, looking like it's ready to rock and roll.